I love video games. I love the gaming community. I love everything about video games entirely, from the creation of games, to the voice acting of video games, to the stories that are told within video games. But there are many aspects about video games that I find so deeply frustrating, and it always has to do with stuff that is going around behind the scenes within these higher-ups of these executive and in these companies such as Ubisoft and Activision, such as these companies like Sweet Baby Inc. and these article sites like Otaku, many other sites that have to involve with gaming journalism entirely and of course like review sites like IGN which always are so inconsistent with rating their games like they fucking rated Sparking Zero and Concord a 7 out of 10 like the same freaking rating for some reason they were both rated the exact same game but you can't even play Concord anymore and the studio got shut down hilarious but whatever it, it's just, it's so strange to me how we have companies like Sweet Baby Inc. that are constantly talking about how they want to tear down the gaming industry and they want to take it over. And you have Kim Bel Air, which is always constantly talking about how if you want to get what you want, you have to terrify like your marketing team and yada, yada, yada. You have people working there, which are trying to take down Steam groups for simply just informing people on the games that Sweet Baby Inc. has actually worked on. Sweet Baby Inc. is basically Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, but instead of the rumbling being about committing mass genocide, they want to turn everything gay and that's basically all it is and then one of the main people that people like to talk about a lot when it comes around like the bad side of the gaming industry is Alyssa Mercante who has made multiple articles before in the past talking about CPV Inc and how they're not as bad as they, as people make them out to be and they don't have that much control in the gaming industry but then you have videos from Upper Echelon talking about how Kim Belair was actually one of the main writers on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League so obviously they have enough influence to work on a pretty massive game from WB and Rock Steady of all fucking companies. She made a article about farm folks about their whole like boob physics drama but in the article itself there's a lot of misinformation there and then they have a little back and forth between herself and the CEO of that company. There was that one time where she ended up stalking and then harassing Smash JT's wife at some point because she simply didn't like the fact that he had a lot of things to say about her and when he was covering the drama between herself and the farm folks people and I think now the two of them are in the middle of a lawsuit where she's suing him for all the videos that she's made about him, which is apparently uh, misinformation and in defamation of her character. It's just, she has all these controversies, but yet people like to keep giving her more and more attention. I think at one point uh, as well, by the way, I forgot to mention, I think at one point she talked about how she wanted to fight someone. I think she was like on this like little podcast thing during Summer Games Fest 2024, where she was like on this like couch with a whole bunch of other people and then she starts talking about how oh gaming has already been diverse if it's diverse if naturally and blah, blah 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 and she wants to fight someone someone confronts her i think it was vara dark she confronts her and talks about how she wants to fight Dean star is like oh well, with happy punch we'll serve the fight all for you and blah 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 because he always has to get involved with drama no matter what it is and no matter what the context is about because he's just a fucking greedy asshole like that and then Alyssa fucking backs down like she she was afraid that vara was gonna do a fucking daigo umahara 25 hit combo right in the corner uh, on Alyssa Mercante, I guess. I don't know. It's so strange how she decides to want to try to pick a fight, but then she backs away as soon as someone confronts her about it. She's extremely racist towards white people, which obviously it's like white people aren't a marginalized group, but the whole thing about racism is that it's not just towards marginalized groups. You can be racist towards anybody, whether or not you're white or not whether or not you're a black person or not no matter if you're an asian person or not some people like to indicate that she's also racist towards asian people and mainly japanese people because of the whole situation that happened around assassin's creed shadows because obviously tldr assassin's creed shadows wanted to have a black protagonist which no n nothing in history really says whether or not he was a samurai or not he was a real person who did exist and was owned by nobunaga back in the feudal era of Japan, but everything that we know about Yasuke so far doesn't actually indicate that he was either a Japanese retainer or he was a samurai. But what Assassin's Creed Shadows decided to do was go along with the story that he actually was a samurai under Nobunaga's rule. Japanese people are very serious about their history and they like when it's represented in the best way possible. And Assassin's Creed Shadows just wasn't really doing that and they had a lot of criticisms to say about it and Elizabeth Mercante was basically just summing it down as to Japanese people just being blatantly racist. So a lot of people like to say that she's racist towards Japanese people and white people. A lot of people also have a lot of things to say about her because she's pretty open about having an abortion before in the past. So whatever your opinions about the whole abortion thing, a lot of people have to say something about that as well. 
And yeah, I just, I see all these things happening or revolving around the gaming industry. I see the people who are in it, like, like Alyssa Mercante and like Sweet Baby Inc. And I'm just wondering the whole time, why are these people in the gaming industry? <laughs> also, another thing to point out, just because this really just came to mind and I don't like Hassan, but Alyssa Mercante, like, unironically, I think wants to actually have sex with Hassan Piker, which is gross because I fucking hate Hassan, honestly. But uh, that's not really all that important. I just remembered that. So, yeah, it's like she's in the middle of a lawsuit with Smash GT after she harassed his wife and she didn't like what he had to say. Basically just being mad that he had to criticize her in any way whatsoever. So she clearly doesn't like when people criticize her and doesn't accept criticism in any way whatsoever. Sweet Baby Inc. is always constantly trying to push diversity, but not in a way that's natural. natural. It's just forced diversity for the sake of forced diversity and trying to push their own political ideologies in video games when video gaming should be all about having fun and being able to tell stories that you wouldn't be able to tell otherwise without the medium that is video gaming. It's just so strange. I love this hobby. I love this I love this part of the world. I love gaming entirely. It just it's amazing. I've played so many fantastic games before in the past. I don't know what my life would be like if I didn't have video games in my life and if I didn't start playing them when I was a kid. But I see all these things happening in the industry and I see I see the people in it and I'm just wondering why the fuck do these people exist? Why are these people in the gaming industry when they very obviously don't like it whatsoever? Especially Alyssa, who is always constantly talking about how gamers are bigots and how she doesn't like gamers at all and that they're incels and yada yada. And it's like, why aren't you working in this fucking industry then? Why don't you go work in something else? Why don't you go back to being a fucking sex worker since you were so proud of that? I don't know. It's so, it's just so, so strange. Anyways, uh... A little bit of a rant, just want to talk about it a little bit because I always think about this ever since, especially my last video when I was talking about the Ghost of Yote and, and like content creators like Smash GT who are on the other radical side, which if you want to see, I guess, more of that side and why I disagree with that side a lot more now, you can go check that out for yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say. I just wanted to get this thing off my chest real quick because I've been thinking about it a little bit recently. And I just think it's also ironic that Alyssa, who was so proud of being a chief, uh, uh, editor, I think it was, for Kotaku, uh, ended up leaving Kotaku. Um, I think it said that she got fired, but I don't think she actually got fired, to be honest. I think she, I think that she saw all the layoffs that were happening around that time, and she just thought that it was a better idea to leave before things get worse. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to say. Uh, I want to go ahead and give a channel shout out to Pedro360 for being a member on the channel. I would really appreciate it if you guys decided to go ahead and join the memberships. It would be amazing if you did. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Follow me on Twitter if you won't really want to see some tweets of me trying to be funny. I don't know. I don't really know what I tweet on there, to be honest. I, I, just, I tweet about whatever. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let's